Here we are looking at a blood monocyte, and again, this has arisen from a stem cell within the bone marrow. It retains its nucleus, and it patrols through the blood. During normal, healthy states, the monocyte can replace any macrophage that is in the tissue that is outside of the blood vessel. And during times of infection, many of these monocytes can be mobilized within about 8 to 12 hours to divide and to differentiate into macrophage. Half of these monocytes end up being stored in the spleen just for that purpose. We will see an increase in monocytes as well as lymphocytes during mononucleosis as well as other types of immune reactions, stress, chronic inflammation, mononucleosis, a viral fever will cause an increase in monocytes within the bloodstream because then they are going to be leaving the bloodstream, converting over to a macrophage whose job it is to engulf and digest cellular debris and pathogens. The macrophage will also stimulate other cells called lymphocytes to produce antibodies against the pathogen that it has encountered. These monocytes, so we can see them circulating in blood. We sometimes can see them in the outlying tissue, but usually by that time they have become these macrophages. Macrophages can also become, can become fixed within certain tissues, and once they are in those tissues, we give them very specific names. Some of the names, including a dust cell in the lung, because of course when you breathe, sometimes you breathe in dust, macrophages are able to engulf and digest dust. How about the liver? Everything that comes through your small intestine has to pass through your liver and you just don't know what's in your small intestine. There could be all sorts of things, pathogens. So those cells actually are called uh, Kupfer cells and those reside in the liver. We also have some cells in the spleen and these cells in the spleen, these macrophages in the spleen help to get rid of dead red blood cells. So there are many more of these throughout the body, but any cell that can possibly degrade something and engulf it has come from this macrophage lineage.